Hello, Raw Mithril here once again, getting back to Magmammal 2, and we're going to be continuing on with Tier 8 today, but a couple of quick things I want to cover first. Here at the costume shop, the Cryon costume is now labeled as Doropy. I noticed that while reviewing footage. And so yeah, this is a bit more consistent. But we're going to be playing as Mega Man Hair because I haven't used this costume for a full video. May as well get some mileage out of it. We also do have an upgrade we can go and get at Nightman, so let's go see what that's all about. And we can see if anybody new is in there. I don't recognize you. Storm Man. I'm always an advocate for creative original fan games. Personally, I'm excited for Mega Man Infamous Intent. I've heard the name, but I don't know a lot about that game. Hi there, future. I thought I'd take a look at Nightman's little establishment. I must say, McWiley's might have some competition. Alright then. What you got for us, Nightman? Ah, I can feel that you have at least 80 nickels. This reward is very valuable. Take the energy saver. Nice. Got the energy saver. Now all costs of special weapons have been halved. Talk to Reggae near Eddie's shop to disable it. That's what that's about. Okay. And next threshold is 100. And I have 89. Okay. Was it one or both of you upstairs earlier? I know I've talked to both of you. Anybody else? Doesn't look like it. Huh. And I just realized... Where's Cheat Man? All the other tier bosses have come here. Well, technically I guess the other Scorched Man is drowning his sorrows at McWiley's. But, yeah, no Cheat Man. Huh. Oh well. On to tier 8 with us. Whee! Yeah, I don't think this is getting us anywhere. But someone wanted me to do this. And I do love playing around with the tower. <laughs> it's a simple effect, but I love playing around with it. Wait, what in the world? What's going on up there? I can't latch on to anything. I can't seem to interact with anything. No idea. <laughs> 24th place, Smith is 2, Smith's big annoying mess of a level. Score, 33 even. 38, 28, 38, 30, 31. Okay, one element, one nickel. Let's go. This music sounds really familiar to me. But then, I've thought that about other songs, and then... Uh... Okay. Thought derailed. <laughs> is that a Toad Joe? <laughs> that is kind of amazing, and I love it. Hmm. That kind of looks suspicious to me. But, nothing, apparently. But anyway, though, yeah, some of the songs in this, I thought they've sounded familiar, but then somebody told me what the source was in the comments, and it's been a game I've never heard of, so... I wonder if this is another of those cases. But this does sound really familiar to me, somehow. Right on that enemy. Okay, there's the nickel. Now to get back out of here. Okay, that wasn't so bad. <laughs> Toad Joe just amuses me way more than it should. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, Komuso man. Uh, where are you going? Wait, what? I don't think I've ever seen you do this before. Yeah, this is different. You stop that right now. I don't like Cheerios. I mean, I'll eat them if they're there, but they're not a favorite cereal for me. A bit bland for my tastes. I prefer Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Or occasionally something marshmallowy. Uh, didn't mean to go back that way. Okay, and transitioning into Skullman graphics. Well, you guys are pretty much the same as usual. Looking back at older videos, I'm not really sure where I got the impression that Skeleton Joes actually could still hurt you while crumpled. It's been consistent in any game they've actually been in that, no, they don't. So, I just don't know where I got that impression. It probably made the Skullman Perfect run harder on me than it really needed to be. Really? Nothing? Just something about the look of this room. I was expecting a mid-boss. Uh, wait, what? Toad Man, okay. With a smaller health bar than me and what? Okay. And charge shots are only doing one damage to him. So don't need to worry about holding a charge. Okay, this Toad Man fight is secretly kind of my weakness. You might have noticed it in the video with 128 up stage during the Avoidance Cherry fight. But when there are both vertical and horizontal projectiles going on at the same time, my mind just kind of tends to tune one of them out, so that is a very specific weakness of mine, and uh, Toad Man just played it up really well. <laughs> Alright, so that was a fun little rompy stage, and forever shall I remember Toad Joe. <laughs> yeah, there's like no interaction with these, I can't shoot them, nothing. I have no idea what these are. I guess they're just decoration? 23rd place, Thoron, Conveyor Mayhem, score 33.6. 41, 34, 29, 30, 34. And we are going to be busy. Two elements and five nickels. Which, the way elements work in this game, it means we're going to be playing this stage at least twice. Transmission from Dr. Light. Mega Man, I've detected two Robot Master signatures from this robotics factory. If you can defeat them, we'll be able to shut down this place and cripple Dr. Wily's current schemes of world domination. Be warned, this place is full of conveyor belts. You'll need to make your way through this base at least twice in order to reach both masters. Alright. I've also attached an experimental modification to your body armor which reduces the damage you take from spikes by about 75%. Nice. Unfortunately, it's rather unstable, so it'll only last for the duration of this mission. It also won't protect you from the various bits of molten metal. Unfortunately, Rush was also damaged during Wily's last onslaught, so you'll need to rely on your other utilities like the wire adapter. For that matter, why aren't you using the wire adapter more? Yeah, really, it's super fun. Okay, so no dog zone. Alright. Whoa. Fire rat. And... Yeah, I did just see that. Guts lift ladders. Alright. It's a simple gimmick, but kind of nice. I like it. I can get behind this. Okay. 
Okay. And we have conveyors. Much as the stage title promised. And rather large room, too. And more custom enemies. The enemy edits here are fairly simple, but they're effective. They're pretty good. Okay, I'm guessing this is where the path splits. Let's go up first. And what are you? Okay. Okay, I can hit the turret part of it. Not the actual arm, though. Directions. Down, mini-boss. Right, detour. P.S. Did you find the alternate route? I'm... I mean, I'm assuming it's going down in the previous room. And I'm guessing we want to do the detour. Oh. Was not expecting that, but you can stand on the ladders, good to know. Yeah, this stage, given it's got five nickels hiding in it and two elements, I'm guessing there's branching paths all over the place. Nickel! Whoa! What the... Okay. And I just noticed you start with a much bigger health bar than I have. But you have no invincibility frames. This shall be your downfall. Actually, come to think of it. Okay, you do not like that. Well, Dr. Light wanted me to use Wired after more. There you go. <laughs> uh... You gonna do anything? Okay. Interesting use of the flying shield enemies. Just kind of flying support for other enemies. Though, let's see here. Okay, yeah, if you really want to, you can just get rid of them pretty quickly. Good to know. Okay, there's a nickel up there behind that shield. See if this works. Hmm. I mean, it acted like it was working, but... I don't know, if we keep scrolling him off and back on the screen, I think we're just resetting his health. Yeah. I'm guessing that's not the intended solution. Maybe there's a way to get around behind where he is. probably make more sense. Just have to wait a bit for things to time up well here. There we go. I don't want the end tank that badly. Oh, that looks really nice, that rotor leaving the fire behind there. And there's a noble nickel. And we're going on a minecart ride. Okay, let's just see where this goes. Because this might be heading back toward where that nickel was. I mean, supposedly spikes are not instant death for us in this stage, but I'd rather not test that theory. Okay, a cracked block, but my shots are not interacting with it, so I take that to mean it is just scenery and not actually something you're supposed to destroy. If it was, my shots, I think, would just kind of plink off of it like that. Okay, yeah. 
We went the right way. But now I think we are going to have to curve around again. Because I'm pretty sure the minecart ride that we went on to get here was one way. Not risking that one. Okay, so now we need to get that one. Yeah, I know there's a cannon there. Okay, that's easy enough. So that's three down, I think? Napalm Man. I've been expecting you, Mega Man. Since my last defeat, Dr. Wily has been implementing some modifications to improve my combat abilities. I wasn't in commission when you decided to wreck my new base of operations. So, prepare to meet your end here and now, Mega Man. All right. I mean, so far, n never mind. I was about to say so far you were fighting the same as ever, but uh, that's different. Okay. Not really a difficult fight, but that new attack actually looked pretty nice. I mean, when I think Napalm, I do tend to more think fire, so seeing something a bit more fiery from him than just plain explosions, nice touch. But we have more to do, so back once I get back to the split path. Okay. So this time, let's try going down. As usual, just have to wait on some things here. Oh. Whoops! Okay, there's lava down there. Let's try this again, but with less burning. Okay, well there's a nickel and a slash claw block, alright. Okay, where are we going? To a room with a very happy background wall. Okay. And... Sideways presses? Every bit is deadly. Um... Alright. <laughs> that was a... Bit of a janky entrance. Still, interesting enemy combo here. Again, no invincibility frames, which honestly I'm kinda happy about. I never did really care for canapellers too much. Oh, uh, I guess we're going this way then. <laughs> 
You're going to punch me as soon as I look at this screen, aren't you? Directions. Left prototype Robot Master. Right upgraded Robot Master. Well, Napalm Man said that he was upgraded, so let's go for the prototype. This is a very noisy room. And I guess that would be why. This is also a very busy room. Barely got out of that. Can I grab some quick help from you? I saw that turbo ladder over there. Okay, these only start moving once you stand on them. Interesting. Oh boy. This is going to be a thing, isn't it? I know there's a cannon. Okay. Well, this is still a thing that can happen. Crusher Joe. My name is Crusher Joe. I'm the prototype of the future robot master, Crusher Man. My imperative is to eliminate you. Alright. Okay, you have a very exacting hitbox there. Alright. And I just noticed there is a subtle Sniper Joe face in the background. Okay, and you have missiles, too. Which gave me health, so I can't complain about that. That comes out really fast. And now, happy Mega Man face in the background. Okay. Interesting fight, but yeah, the press? There is very little warning as to when that's going to strike. And the hitbox is pretty small. And we still missed a nickel somewhere? <sighs> Blast, I thought we were done! <laughs> Where could it even be? Was that really a split path on the split path? fall here, I wonder. Oh, it's a shortcut. Good to know. Okay, so what happens if I go to the right here? There's the nickel down there, and something firing at me from off-screen. Okay, so... I guess we're going to have to take a rather roundabout path. There's at least warning ahead of time that those presses are there from going underneath them on a lower path, but... Ugh, still just a bit nerve-wracking, those striking from basically off-screen. The room! Okay, well, proof that, uh, yeah, that's not instant death. 
All that for an M tank. Well, if I'm getting that, I'm topping off. Well, that was bad. Very bad. Okay, so where are we going from here? I'm assuming that leads to Napalm Men. We don't want to go there. This is pretty nerve-wracking. I didn't want to get on that ladder. Okay, we got the nickel. If I can get back there, though, I do kind of want to see if I was right and that that gate does lead back to Napalm Men. Because I did notice his room had two entrances. Yep, we're back to Napalm Man again. So, we don't really need to fight you again. We've done everything here. We have our crown. We're done. So, yeah, that's where we're going to call it for now. Interesting stage, that one. Kind of a bit big and rambly. I'll discuss my thoughts on it more during the Talkie Bit video. But overall, a nice stage. I still enjoyed it. It just maybe felt like a little bit too much in a way. Again, I'll discuss that more in the talkie bit video. But for now, that's where we're going to call it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series so far, and I shall see you again next time. Until then, fare thee well. What are those things?